Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Wavy. This is Just Wavy Media. Thank you so much for joining me today and hello to all returning subscribers. Uh, we're continuing today with Travel Tuesdays down in Cork and you'll see from the title of this video that this one is called My Cork Hero. So how ironic is it that I'm an Irish person and I'm standing outside an old brewery talking about a hero? I suppose that's ridiculously stereotypical, right? This is Beamish and Crawford Brewery, which is being transformed into an events center now. They don't make alcohol here anymore, but they did for a long, long time. And Beamish and Crawford were the two families that own this place. And the Crawford part of Beamish and Crawford, um, William Crawford, is my cork hero and this video is going to tell you a little bit about what he did for this city and why he is so cool so this would be where his fortune was made but why he's so cool and why he's my hero is how he used his fortune So this is the Crawford Art Gallery here in Cork City Centre and this was founded by William Crawford II. So to explain a little bit of the family tree, Beamish and Crawford was started by uh, William Crawford I and Richard, I think it was Richard Beamish, and then his son actually opened the art gallery, William Crawford II, but it was Will William Crawford the Younger who is the one that this video is about who really dedicated a lot of his time to improving Cork and making the lives of people in Cork better. Um, so he, William Crawford III, the younger, he was not very interested in brewing alcohol and left most of that to the Beamishes. Which, um, and he spent more of his time on art, collecting trees really interestingly, and funding projects around Cork, including this one, which still bears the family name, the Crawford Art Gallery. So the gallery outside actually has a plaque in memory of, this would be William Crawford. It's Horatio, I think is the H, um, so the younger. And you can see there, brewer and benefactor endowed. I can't read it backwards, but UCC and this building and various other places, including St. Finbar's Cathedral. Um, and this is there to remember him. So if you come inside to Crawford Art Gallery, there is actually this first room on the left with various statues in here that are usually reproductions of statues from other places. But this one is actually William Crawford himself. And I have a picture there of what it says on the side, which I will insert now. so that you can read a little bit about him and what he did for Cork and how much Cork was in his heart and how much he cared about it. And then he is also a man of great faith, which is another reason that I am particularly drawn to him. Like, he, his faith was really lived out in everything that he did for this city in the 1800s with money from brewing alcohol. Because you can't get a more Irish story than that even though they're Scottish. So I am here at St. Finbar's Cathedral for the next part of my Cork hero to talk about. At the start of this video, I had a verse come up from Jeremiah chapter 29, which says, seek the welfare of the city where I have placed you, for in its welfare you will find your welfare. And William Crawford was really a man to do that. St. Finbar's Cathedral was built in the 1800s. It was replacing an older church that was on this site. And the team that was responsible for finding somebody to build it looked, had a competition for an architect, set a budget, and this was the winning design. Of course, it ballooned 
well past its budget and they ran out of money and couldn't build these two towers here that you see on the front and so that is where William Crawford steps in because Beamish and Crawford at the request of William Crawford and probably really from his side of the fortune built one of these two towers the other tower then was built by Jameson whiskey so there's a tower that's stout and a tower that's whiskey here in the front of St Finbar's Cathedral because of the actions of William Crawford and how he sought the welfare of the city and wanted to impact and give back to the community that he lived in and where his fortune his family's fortune was made so I've come now just a little bit down the road from the cathedral. I am actually standing at the cathedral's walls right here, uh, just to see this plaque here, which says Sherman Crawford Street. So my hero, William Crawford III, William Crawford the Younger, he, I believe, I'm going on information that I looked up five years ago now, had only daughters. And one of them married a man called William Sherman and they became the Sherman Crawfords. And so then this street is Sherman Crawford Street down here. So I'm now at the last stop that I'm gonna to go to for this particular video about my Cork hero, William Crawford. This is the Crawford School of Art and Design. So we've already been to the Crawford Art Gallery. So you kind of know he was a man that was interested in art um, and also funded this. There's other things I want to show you. I'll put in a picture here of a tree. So this tree is the last tree surviving from the Crawford estate. He was really interested in growing various plants um, from different parts of the world. And this is the one remaining tree from that estate, which has now become Mahan Point Shopping Center. And then just speaking of trees, in UCC, there are two California redwoods just outside Bull Library, which come from where he grew them. So I'll put in a picture of those here now too. So I'm gonna close out this video where I began it, although it is now a day later, at the site of the future National Events Centre here in Cork, or the old site of the Beamish and Crawford Brewery. We've seen just some of the things that William Crawford III did with his wealth that he made in seeking the welfare of Cork City uh, from this brewery. And yeah, I just really hope you enjoyed this little bit of Cork history and the kind of impact that one person um, who inherited, I suppose, a lot of money, really. Um, but one, the impact that one person can have, a lasting impact on, on a city. So if you did like this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to keep the tide coming in and click that notification bell um, to see the rest of these videos. And I will link above the Travel Tuesdays in Cork playlist, uh, wherever, whichever side it comes up on, uh, so you can watch the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks guys so much for watching and I hope you have a magical day. Take care.